How did a tiny country build a secret shield in space? This isn't a movie. This is real. Israel, a nation so small you could miss it on a map, has quietly built a defense network in the sky that is changing the rules of war. You are about to see how they did it. Hello, and welcome to Winds of Thought. Today, we are pulling back the curtain on one of the most significant military advances of our time. We all know about ground defenses, but the real game has moved. It's now happening hundreds of miles above our heads in the silent black vacuum of space, and it's already working. This story isn't about having the biggest army, it's about having the smartest technology. It's a story of how Israel used its brains to solve a giant problem, how to protect every inch of a small country surrounded by threats. Their answer was to look up, to go higher than anyone else, to build an invisible wall, not on the ground, but in orbit itself. Let's start at the beginning. How did this all happen? Israel's journey to the stars didn't begin with a grand plan for dominance. It began with a simple, urgent need, to see the enemy coming. Back in the 1980s, Israel was in a tough spot. Its neighbors had vast territories and large armies. Israel needed an advantage. It needed eyes. So they decided to build their own. They launched their first satellite, OFEC-1. It was a small, humble beginning, but it was a revolution. For the first time, Israel could look down on the entire region from a place no one could touch. This was the first brick in their space shield. But they didn't stop there. They realized that big, expensive satellites were slow and clunky. So Israel's engineers became masters of miniaturization. They built smaller, smarter, and tougher satellites. These satellites could be launched quickly and moved around in orbit with incredible precision. They were like nimble scouts in the sky. Then came the real breakthroughs. Satellites like the OFAC-16. This wasn't just a camera in space, it was a super eye. It could see in the dark of night. It could see through clouds and stormy weather. It could even see through attempts at camouflage. It provided a crystal clear, real-time view of every movement on the ground below. This gave Israel a constant, unblinking watch over its enemies. But seeing the threat is only half the battle. You have to stop it. And that's where the real genius of Israel's system comes in. They didn't just build satellites to take pictures. They connected them. They wove these eyes in the sky into a live, beating nerve system that connects directly to their missile defense batteries on the ground. Imagine this. A rocket is launched from hundreds of miles away. Within seconds, an Israeli satellite high above detects the heat from its launch. Instantly, that information is sent down to a command center. The path of the rocket is calculated, the best interceptor is chosen, and all of this happens before the rocket has even finished its climb into the sky. This is the power of connection. This was the moment Israel moved its defense from the ground into the heavens. Now, one of the most clever parts of this system is something that is completely silent. Most detection systems use radar. They send out a signal, like shouting in the dark, and listen for the echo. But what if the enemy can hear you shouting? They can hide from it, and they can jam it. Israel asked a different question. What if we could see without making a sound? Their answer is a technology called SkySpotter. This system doesn't use radar at all. It uses only light. It has incredibly powerful optical sensors that watch the sky. It can detect a stealth aircraft or a drone by seeing the tiny changes in light around it. The way the air moves, the faintest reflection. Because it doesn't emit any signal, it is invisible to the enemy. They don't know they are being watched. It is a silent guardian, and it can track things that are designed to be invisible to normal radar. This technology developed by Israel's Rafael Defense Systems has been tested with the Air Force and is a game changer. It means that even the most advanced stealth technology might not be enough to sneak up on Israel. They have built a system that sees the unseen. Everyone has heard of the Iron Dome. It's the famous system that shoots down rockets in midair. It's brilliant, but Israel is already working on the next step. What if you could stop the missile even earlier? What if you could stop it in space? This is the vision behind Israel's research into space-based missile defense. The idea is simple, but breathtaking. Place powerful sensors and weapons on satellites in orbit. When a long-range ballistic missile is launched, it flies high into space on its way to its target. Israel's plan is to intercept it there, during this spaceflight phase, before it ever comes back down. How? With lasers. 
Israel is a world leader in laser weapon technology. Their iron beam system on the ground uses lasers to burn through drones and mortars. Now imagine a more powerful version of that laser placed on a satellite. From its position in orbit, it could fire a beam of concentrated light traveling at the speed of light to destroy a missile thousands of kilometers away. Think about that for a second. No explosion, no missile-on-missile -missile collision, just a silent, precise beam of energy that neutralizes the threat in the vacuum of space. It would be faster, cheaper, and more effective than anything we have today. A single laser shot could cost only a few dollars in electricity, compared to the millions spent on a single interceptor missile. This is the future Israel is building towards, in partnership with the United States and its own innovative private companies. The brains behind all of this incredible hardware are the satellites that gather intelligence. Israel's OFEC series are the silent workhorses of its space program. These are not commercial satellites for TV or internet. They are dedicated military machines, built for one purpose, to know everything. Their cameras are so powerful, they can see an object as small as a soccer ball from hundreds of miles in space. The images they take are sent instantly to intelligence centers on the ground, but it doesn't stop there. This is where artificial intelligence comes in. The data from these satellites is fed into powerful AI systems. These computers don't just look at pictures, they analyze them, they learn patterns, they can spot new construction at a missile site, they can see if vehicles have moved, they can predict a threat before it even happens. In the modern world, especially in space, information is the most powerful weapon of all. And because Israel owns and controls its own satellite fleet, it never has to rely on any other country for this vital intelligence. It has complete independence. But what is the point of seeing and knowing if you cannot communicate? This is where another set of satellites comes in, the AMOS series. On the surface, these are communication satellites. They broadcast television and provide internet across the Middle East. But they have a secret second life. In times of conflict, the AMO satellites become the unbreakable communication backbone of the Israeli military. If an enemy tries to jam radio signals or destroy cell towers on the ground, the military can still talk. Their commands, their data, their coordination, all of it flows securely through these satellites in space. The latest AMO satellites are built to resist jamming and cyber attacks, making this communication link almost impossible to break. So you have the OFEX satellites providing the eyes, and the AMO satellites providing the voice. Together, they create a complete, independent network in space. From seeing the threat to giving the order to stop it, everything happens without Israel ever having to depend on anyone else. This is a strategic advantage that is hard to overstate. Now, let's talk about the future, and it is pointed toward energy. Laser weapons are the next great shift in warfare. Israel's iron beam is a clear sign of this. On the ground, it's a system that uses a directed energy beam to burn up threats like rockets, mortars, and drones. It never runs out of ammunition. It only needs power. It's accurate, cheap, and relentless. The next logical step is to take this technology to space. Picture a constellation of satellites, each armed with a powerful laser. Together, they could create an invisible, energy-based shield around the entire planet. Any object identified as a threat could be zapped out of existence at the speed of light. This would provide a level of protection that seems like something out of science fiction. But the building blocks are real and being tested today. The true mind behind this entire space defense network is not a person, but a system, an artificial intelligence command. This AI is the brain that ties everything together. It takes information from the space-based sensors, the ground radars, the naval ships, and the spy drones. It fuses it all into one single, living, breathing picture of the battlefield. If a missile launch is detected, the AI doesn't wait for a human to figure it out. It immediately calculates the missile's path, it identifies what kind of missile it is, and it recommends the best way to stop it. All of this happens in seconds. In modern warfare, especially in space, every millisecond counts. A human operator is still in charge, giving the final order but the AI does the heavy lifting at a speed no human ever could. This combination of human judgment and machine speed is the ultimate weapon. When the world began to understand the scale of what Israel was building in space, the reaction was immediate. The United States, the world's superpower, sees Israel as a vital partner and is collaborating closely on this next-generation technology. On the other hand, rival nations like Iran view this emerging shield with deep alarm. 
they see their own missile capabilities being neutralized before they can even be used. Even neutral defense experts in Europe and Asia admit that Israel's leap forward is forcing every major power to rethink its own military strategy. The space race is now a defense race. What is most impressive is how Israel achieved this. They didn't do it with the massive budgets of the US or China. They did it with creativity, innovation, and a world-class tech sector filled with smart startups. The result is that a country the size of New Jersey now holds an incredible amount of influence over global security and the balance of power in the Middle East. So, what is the final goal? Israel's long-term mission is clear, to establish full dominance in the space around Earth. They have even created a new Israeli space directorate within their Ministry of Defense, a dedicated military branch just for space. Their future projects include swarms of tiny quick-launch microsatellites, autonomous drones that can patrol orbit, and of course those AI-controlled laser stations